Good cold morning guys. This is take three. I keep going off so far away from where I want to stay. Um I'm looking at James chapter five verses one through six. It talks about um the wealth, how people have hoarded up wealth. Um how it's going to be just tarnished. It's going to be a witness against them and proof of their greed. It talks about wages that farmers have withheld. And when I think about that, I think about Jeff Bezos. Everybody knows that up until about a year ago, when he made minimum wage $15 an hour, Amazon was one of the worst companies to work for, if you work in a warehouse. It is one of the worst. You weren't allowed to leave your station without permission. If you got injured, you were fired. Um, it's It was just a horrible place to work. And these verses talk about how those who live in luxury here will meet miseries here that are beyond their imagination. It, they will experience the misery that they are issuing on people. <clears throat> About a year or so ago, Jamie Diamond spoke from J.P. Morgan, spoke against the cryptocurrency. And recently it's come out that J.P. Morgan has been hoarding cryptocurrency. Let me ask you this. We wake up tomorrow, there's power but there's no internet. How much good is that cryptocurrency going to be? It's going to burn their flesh like a fire. It's going to bear testimony against them in a moral status. Um, and all these individuals that are chasing this invisible wealth and they're leading people along that way, which is why I can no longer watch AMTV, nor can I recommend it. To anyone. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I just suddenly had to sneeze. Wow. Anyway, all these cryptocurrencies, they're not going to be worth anything. Like the Book of Revelation says, you would take this fool's gold and cast it to the streets. All the luxuries they have are going to be absolutely worth nothing toward the end. It's not going to be worth anything. So, um, I'm not saying hoard up food. I mean, if you buy food and you can put extra aside, that would be great. You'll be able to barter with it. Because food is going to have more value in the SHF, SHTF situation that any gold or any silver will ever have. Being a morally sound, per humble human being is going to speak volumes to your character beyond this life. So I'm going to put this question to you. Is hoarding like money really worth your soul? Is chasing this invisible cryptocurrency worth your soul? Peace with you. Have a blessed day.